What's up guys, it's Flash. In this video, we're gonna cover the top five stocks to trade in a bear market and cryptos, so stay tuned. What's up guys, I had to interrupt the video and I do apologize. I just wanted to let you guys in on a little secret. The Flash Forward day trading course is out now. If you're interested in learning how to trade stocks the correct way, check the link out below guys, God bless. Guys, it's exciting, exciting times. We are going over the kind of stocks you need to be watching out for in this bear market, what we're looking to invest in going forward, and even cryptocurrencies that we're keeping an eye out on in the back pocket to have as a portfolio. You always have to remember that this is we're coming into a bear market. We need to start focusing on averaging down. It's a really simple technique that I focus on a lot with my students and in the course. It's so, so simple and it will change the way that your trading style is. This video is a screen share. We're gonna jump into it in just a second, but I want you to keep in mind of the averaging up and averaging down of the positions, you're never going to guess the bottom of the market, but this is what we're trained for as traders. We're going to take some smacks and we're going to take some uh, wins and losses along with that. We're trying to minimize them as much as possible to capitalize on that wealth that's about to come in the pullback of the overall market. It feels good to be back making these videos. So guys, jump into the screen share. I'll see you in the next video. Good night and God bless. So guys, as you know, we're covering the, the top five stocks that you kind of want to watch out for. That's always, in, in a bear market, you're always looking to play safe plays for long-term investing. Obviously, you have your day trading. That's the short-term bumps that keep the income coming in. But where the wealth really, really changes is the likes of the long plays, um, likes of some of the stocks that we're going to be reviewing here. So, for example, like I'm in Tesla on both accounts. One of my accounts, I'm in at 320 and 350. This one, I mean, not with a huge amount of shares, 10 shares, so um, at about average 490 a price, which um, isn't massive, but nonetheless, I'm in another account as well with some shares in Tesla. I'm holding Tesla, um, it doesn't bother me if it drops below, I'm going to average back down um, below that point. Tesla to me is, is, is a winner all day long. So I'm comfortable averaging into Tesla and holding that down. Um, kind of controversial here. Like you'll see, you're I'm short in PayPal and I'm long Tesla, but they all follow the same index uh, in Spy and the overall market. I'll explain my my thoughts on that now as well. So I'm long in Tesla. No matter what happens, I'm still gonna keep averaging down. That's why I'm kind of in it with the the four ninety. But I'm in that a long time ago at that price. Um. So I'm I'm holding it again. The option was there to sell. I did sell on my other account up into that push uh, of eleven hundred, but I still am holding a good few shares on that because I believe in Tesla. I like the brand, I like the business, and I like the the finance end of it. Now for another one like PayPal, again it was a great short at one hundred sixty seven dollars. Now this short's gone back a decent while. I have this. I did get burnt on a long, which I thought we were bouncing on the 100. Um, not that I was going long for a long time, but I was bouncing for a small swing trade on the $100 to capture up. This was at the second collapse. I'll show you here on the chart. This was at the kind of second collapse here of the 100. So we kind of bounced here, as you can see. This is where my position kind of would have roughly been entered in. Um, and we kind of were coming up here again into the 410. I thought we would have got a bit more of a push into the 420s and then to kind of sell into it, but we didn't. And I kind of, I lost a little bit on it. So again, I kind of revenge traded this a bit. Once it breached 100, I took the short position on it because I knew that was it then. The market wasn't recovering the way I wanted it to. So I took a position on it to get back my gains, which I have done. Hit that, that one's up but thirteen thousand dollars there on that trade so but again i'm holding that i'm not in any hurry to sell it and i don't know what's wrong with my chart here um so again if you're going long i'd recommend going long then when the market starts to reflect itself again you're never going to guess the bottom of the market so what we do and what we teach you in the flash forward course is we're averaging down into it or averaging up it's impossible to, to gauge the bottom especially in a bear market so we go in small with the shares for a long trade depending on when you don't want to take it too early into the crash and you don't want to take it too late 
so it's it's about timing it perfectly which is impossible so that's why we average up and down into it so i'll be kind of exiting this trade now not today um in the coming weeks to start looking at my long positions in paypal i think it's a it's a a killer company i think it's really really undervalued here considering what what we can do and what it was priced at the likes of last year i mean going back to february alone my charts on this broker's not taking me any further than that but i mean it's on half price this stock was trading in the three and four hundred dollar range there early last year so it's really undervalued so i think a long position on that is inevitable to go into the swing to really really boost um the income on it obviously if you're amazon after your reverse split um again amazon's a solid stock i'm not too great on the price of it right now because of the reverse split i still think it's there's, there's not much of a discount here um good entry obviously the way it is now coming to the hundred dollars kind of psychological support on it you can see it's bouncing here it, it might be a tester position but i think it has a lot more to fall in, in the coming months to years of the the breach that you're going to be seeing and nikolai again i i did take a, a loss on this one going back a good while i was in this kind of high on the price on this one it wasn't really ideal about two years ago i took a position on this and i held it uh, i did take a loss on that but i'm obviously looking at reinvesting into it now that we're hopefully nearing the bottom nikolai again will follow the likes of your teslas and stuff like that it's an electric truck company that i think can be beneficial i like that one um obviously your facebook's of your you're all blue tickers that's what you're trying to stick to in this kind of market of the bear market that's coming is you're trying to stick to your your blue chips your recognizable companies that have good earnings that aren't solely impacted by the recession although car sales and stuff is um, but you're kind of believing in the, the product the brand and the company all combined it's not just one particular thing going to cryptos um i don't day trade cryptos i used to uh, i don't day trade them i do have a portfolio of cryptos is what you're trying to invest in bitcoin again it this is where it gets tricky i think bitcoin's staying around for sure it's trying to find the price that it's in i did do a video i'll pop it up here um that what's kind of what to watch for in the crash and what's going to be the outcome of the crash i think 90 percent of cryptocurrencies are gone forever um and i think the the top 10 percent will stay around very similar to the dot-com bubble um when you kind of look back on past charts and what happened 90 percent of the companies failed and the 10 percent boom through uh, nfts and stuff the likes of that will it's new bubbles will be crushed right down until you see the the gold at the end of the dirt but like the likes of your bitcoin you're going to be looking at starting position between 18 and fifteen thousand dollars is where you want to be start entering but again you're looking it can collapse to about ten thousand i don't see it going below ten thousand dollars so between 10 and 15 15 to 20 is where your average positions are that you're looking to get into bitcoin uh, ripple again solid buyer between 20 and 30 cents on that one ethereum you're looking between 700 and a thousand is where the buys are on that one uh, and obviously the likes of your facebook coins like uh, your metaverse coins stuff like that but overall kind of keep an eye on on the big tickers keep them in mind when you're trading um on your shares of what do you that you're looking to invest in that what will be not recession proof there is nothing recession proof but what will still be there in the time when this market starts to recover to really increase that wealth well guys that's it for today's video i'll see you in the next one god bless so guys i do hope you enjoyed the video if you are interested in getting started and learning how to trade the stock market the correct way check the link out below guys it's my full version of the flash flash forward day trading course it is out now the last two years there's mentoring programs there's everything you need to know how to trade the stock market and especially you want to start educating yourself in the collapse of what's happening now's the time to educate yourself now's the time to make money hope you guys enjoy good night and god bless